the DIY Solar Homestead. I found this wooden museum. It's pretty amazing. I don't know the name of the town. I'll get it in the uh, description below. But we are Indiana. So, let me slow it down and bring it down to scale. Lady in there, she might give me a little little verbal and a, a description and stuff inside the the barn. That was huge. That would take us off grid right there, brothers and sisters. It's amazing. Then you get to see the coolest one last. <laughs> Look at the wheel in the back. It's great big. It spins. If you was wondering about the base, it goes in circles. Look at the big wheel back there. Where's my finger at? Right there's the wheel. So this thing pivots and it turns with the wind. Isn't that amazing? <laughs> I've never heard of such a thing. I'm going to get this in there because I want to read it later. Or I can just go ahead and say it's an 8 foot Butler Olomatic introduced in the late 1920s. This mill was produced by the Butler Company of Butler, Indiana until the company began producing war materials for World War II. It is a double back geared oil bath mill with either Babbitt or roller bearings on the shafts. Oil to the upper parts was carried by the riv rivetless chain up to distribution troughs that fed the oil to the upper bearings. The mill was made in 8, 10, 12, 14, and 16 foot sizes. Interesting. What catches my interest is this handle right here. And I think that has to do with turning the tail. If the wind go, it, the wind is going 50, 60 miles an hour, that'll damage some things. So, what they have here, and this is what I want on all of my wind generators someday, is you can turn the tail sideways, so during the big wind gust, you don't destroy your electronics as such. That is very, very, very well, beautifully, designed. All of mine is going to be like that one day. Just thought I'd point that out. God, this is beautiful. I think some of them need a little oil. <laughs> now nah, they're fine the way they are. It looks like a lot of them have the turning tail. Mine don't. Yeah. Now this one I can greatly see it's got a huge spring on it. And that will pull the blade back into perspective. I don't know if I'm looking at it now. There it is. So it can be straight out at a 90 on regular days. So I'm sure that some of the military that's got a lock on the handle on the crank. So there's your locking device. I don't have any tension on it right now. I do you have a chain on this one. Okay. But at least you get the concept. Or at least I get the concept. I'm learning this as I go. <laughs> this is so amazing. I look covered bridge. Lower Indiana, not too far from where I'm at, they have the Covered Bridges of America. It's supposed to be the largest covered bridge area. You can see, I think it's 29 of them in one day. They got a map for that and everything. FYI. <laughs>